I lost my job on a Thursday afternoon. The kind of afternoon when the sun is shining, mocking your despair with its cheery glow. I remember walking out of the office carrying a cardboard box, a pathetic collection of personal items I had accumulated over the years. A framed family photo, a couple of awards, and a world's best dad mug that my daughter had given me. They seemed to weigh a ton as I shuffled to my car. The drive home was a blur. My mind raced with panic about bills, the mortgage, and how I would break the news to my wife, Ellen, and our three kids. How do you explain to your family that the rug has been pulled out from under you? Sitting at our kitchen table that evening, Ellen held my hand as I recounted every painful detail. She listened, her eyes brimming with tears but steady and strong. We ended our conversation with a prayer, asking God for guidance and strength. I wasn't sure how much it would help, but it was a start. The following weeks were a whirlwind of job applications and dead ends. Each rejection email was a blow to my already fragile ego. I felt useless. A failure. Sunday services became the hardest part of the week. Everyone seemed to be moving on with their lives, their careers. Why not me? One particular Sunday, our pastor preached about Paul's time in prison, focusing on his letter to the Philippians. He talked about how Paul found strength and joy in Christ, despite his chains. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, he quoted. I had heard those words a thousand times, but that day they struck a different chord. After the service, I lingered in the back of the church, feeling a mix of inspiration and desperation. That's when Mr. Jacobs, a fellow church member, approached me. He knew about my situation and had been praying for me. We talked for a long time, and he shared his own story of struggle and how he saw God's hand in every unexpected turn. Encouraged, I started to volunteer at our church's food pantry. It wasn't a job, but it was something. I needed to feel useful, to be part of something bigger than my own problems. Volunteering gave me that. It also gave me perspective. I met people who, despite having so little, had a profound trust in the Lord. Their resilience inspired me. Months passed, and I slowly found solace in my faith and church community. I realized that my identity wasn't tied to a job title or a paycheck. It was rooted in something eternal. My prayers changed too. I stopped pleading for a job and started asking God to use me wherever He needed me. Then, out of the blue, I got a call from an old colleague. He was starting a new company and wanted me on board. The job was different from what I was used to, and honestly, it was a step down in status and pay. But it was a fresh start, and I felt a surprising peace about it. I took the job, and it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. The work was fulfilling, and the environment was supportive. I found joy in the simplicity of my tasks, the camaraderie with new colleagues, and the opportunity to grow into a new field. Looking back, I see how that difficult season was about more than just finding another job. It was about finding my worth in Jesus, about learning to trust in His plan even when it didn't make sense. It was about understanding that my true strength came from Him, not from my career. Losing my job was one of the hardest things I've ever gone through. But in that loss, I found something much greater. My purpose, not as defined by the world, but as defined by my faith. And for that, I am forever grateful.